All right, so here's the test firing phase. Let's see how well these new compression mods work. Four hundred one point five. Four hundred three point three. Four hundred five point eight. Four hundred two point nine. So consistently shooting almost four hundred, just slightly a few FPS over. Um, not too bad. It did better than anticipated. I was expecting more like 380 but this is you know with $43 of compression mods put in into the M4 full metal and it's on a M110 spring too. So of course I'm using a e -bike, um, Godzilla torque motor but really don't wouldn't really affect the FPS. So I'm only doing it just to see if my theory is correct that uh, the high TPA motors will make this thing run a little more efficient. So this clock gun is shooting about 17.76 rounds per second at full auto. It'll do about 410 FPS. Um, the battery I'm using is a uh, 11.1 volt, 2000 milliamp, 15C battery. So we'll see uh, how this uh, project sheet really goes. Um, I'll do an accuracy test on the next segment. Um, looks like it's turning out to be a pretty good project for a very cheap price. All right, so the results. So we use some 25 gram BBs at 75 feet. And I also used uh, the scope that was mounted on my APX uh, M4 project to help me out uh, to see at 75 feet. So you could see a three inch, I mean a three shot group here, it's about an inch and a half. But for some reason I made six shots, I thought I counted five. So it's about a five inch grouping at 75 feet. And remind you that this is only, like I said, $43 worth in compression mods. And it's the stock bucking, stock metal hop-up unit, stock brass barrel for the, for the Ares M4 uh, full metal. So overall, I think that's a very good uh, grouping for, for a stock gun that's just had its compression work. And it's also now only using a weaker M110 spring, and it's still shooting... Um, on 20 gram BB shooting close to uh, 405 to 410 FPS. A little bit still on the hot side but I figured that the spring will weaken a little bit so it drop me down a little bit. Um, on 25 gram BBs it's actually shooting uh, three, about 366 FPS. So a little bit like I said a little bit hotter than I really wanted but I'm surprised how good the compression is on this gun. Um, given the range, um, I was able to get a good 175 feet uh, shot. I mean, it's not 100% uh, accurate. It's a little bit, you know, uh, windy out here today. So, I, I mean, I could see that I'll hit a man-sized target after a few shots fairly easy on 25 gram BBs, and easily the BB will go out to 200 feet, um, and that's without trying to um, lob lob uh, your BBs and I was pretty much shooting it straight so this gun is uh, doing pretty well and actually might make a good uh, backup uh, uh, field gun for me um, the whole philosophy on this is like I said just giving it good compression try and keep it at stock keep it at a cheap price and I wanted to use a pretty relatively weak lipo battery so since it's a 15 amp micro switch and we'll see how long this project uh, lasts and I'll try and keep uh, updates with this particular gun.